Our people are being divided, not only on class basis, region basis, but also highly on ethnicity. Yet when you look at our history, we are one people. The earliest people to come in this territory called Zambia today came 500 BC. They came 500 years before Christ was born. And these are the Mambwes, the Lungus, the Namwangas, the Tumbukas, and the Subia. They came from the Niger Delta, through the Cameroon, through the Congo, the Great Rakes, and entered what is now Zambia around the Mbulungumbala. When they were coming, there was no Mambwe, there was no Lungu, there was no Namwanga, there was no Tumbuka, there was no Subia. There was simply one group of Bantu-speaking people. Those who settled around, who remained and settled around Mpulungumbala, they became known as the Mambwes later on. Those who went down into the Rapura province and settled there, they became known as the Lungus. Those who moved to, to Isoka, Nakonde and settled there, eventually became known as the Namwangas. Those who settled around Rundazi became known as the Tumbukas. And the ones who moved all the way down to Livingstone, Sesheke, Capri Strip, and Eastern Angola and settled there became known as the Subia. But they were one people. Then we had a second, general, a second migration, which was a secondary migration, of the, the group that has go, had gone all the way to South Africa, Mozambique. And some of their members started coming up again. One such group entered what is now Zambia around Sesheke in 450 AD and went all the way to what is now Western Province or Mongo and settled there. Part of that group moved eastward and settled in what is now Kaoma and Nkeema and became known as the Nkoyas. Those who settled around the Mongo became known as the Ruyanas. Then we had another migration between 500 and 550 AD. This was from southern Congo, just above the northwestern province of our country around the Korez area of Congo. A small group moved through northwestern province and went all the way to Mulovezi and settled there and became known as the Totela and the Shanjos. That was between 500 and 550 AD. Then we had another migration in 800 AD. This was a big migration, again from southern Congo through the, the northwestern province. This group gave us, gave us what we now call the Tonga, the Ila, the Sala, the Soli, the Lenje, and the Chewa. They came as one group. Those who remained around the Tezitezi, Namwala, and settled there, later on became known as the Ila. Those who settled between Mumbwa and Lusaka became known as the Sala. Those who settled around Lusaka, Chongwe, Kafiwe, later on became known as the Soli. Those who occupied the space between Lusaka and the the Primposhi later on became known as the Lenges. And the group that went all the way down to the Gombe Valley and the northern part of, most of Zimbabwe, what is now Zimbabwe, and settled there, later on became known as the Tongas. Then there was the group that went all the way to Lake Malawi, in Malawi, and settled there and occupied this space. They became known as the Chewa. A small group of that, those chewas around Lake Malawi moved to Nkata Bay on Lake Malawi and settled there, and later on became known as the Tongas of Malawi. Then we had another migration in 1000 AD. That was also from southern Congo into what is now northwestern province. Most of them settled around Sorwezi, others went and occupied parts of Mumbwa, others settled in Kasempa, and they became known as the Kaonde. Then we had a migration, a big migration, between 1600 and 1700, from the Katanga area of Congo, just above our Copperbelt province there. A big group moved. Some of them remained on the Copperbelt, and those who remained on the Copperbelt later on became known as the Lamba. The others moved down and occupied the place around the Mukushi there and became known as the Swaka. Others went to what is now Serenja, remained there, and settled there and became known as the Lala. Another group of five moved upward into what is now Wapula and settled there. Later on, they became known as the Kunda, the Chishinga, the Bwile, the Ushi, and uh, the, the Ambo. Then we had a group that went to Mpika and settled there and remained there. They became known as the Visa. We had another group of that group that went all the way down to Petauke, Nisan province, and settled there. This became known as the Nsengas. 
there were one group coming. Then we had another secondary migration during that same period of 1600 to 1700. Secondary in the sense that a group that had left East Southern Congo and moved into Eastern Angola settled there, created a huge kingdom called the Mbunda Kingdom there. Some of their members started moving into the Western Province, what is, what is now the Western Province of Zambia. These became the Mbundas of Mwene Kandala in Mongo, the Mbundas of Mwene Chengere, the Mbundas of Mwene Mundu in Kalabo. Some of these Mbundas moved actually to, southern, to the southern part of Northwestern Province and settled there. So we had this secondary migration of the Mbundas. Then we had another migration in 1700 from Eastern Congo that went into what is now Lwapura province in 1700. These are the Lundas of Matakazembe, sometimes referred to as the Northeastern Lunda. And they settled there all coming from Congo, Eastern Congo. So, so don't And let me just finish this point. It's an important point. Let me finish it. Then we had another group in between 1700 and 1800 that also moved from Eastern Congo and went and settled in what is now Muchinga and Northern provinces of Zambia. These became known as Bembas. Then we had a migration in 1800, again from the western part of southern Congo into the western part of northwestern province. This gave us the Lundas, the northwestern Lundas. It gave us the Luvale. It gave us the Chokwe, the Luchazi. The Lundas settled around Winilonga and also occupied parts of Chavuma and parts of Zambezi. Some of these Lundas also went all the way down to Western Province and settled in Western Province among the Ruyanas. And they actually became the ruling class of the Ruyanas, the, ruling, the rulers of the Ruyanas. These Lundas, the first Litunga of the Ruyanas was a woman, a Lunda woman called Mbuyamwambu. That was the first Litunga. But she couldn't rule for a very long time. The Ruyanas resisted being ruled by a woman. So she had to abdicate to her son Mbo, who became the first male Litunga. So the Lord's, what you are calling the Lord's royal family or the Ruyana royal family, they are actually Lundas. How was it possible for the Ruyanas who had come into this territory 450 AD to be ruled by a Lunda woman who had come in 1800? Those who had left the Congo much earlier, left before the Lova Lunda kingdom governance structures had crystallized. So they left without governance skills. Most of our royal families in Zambia are people who came later, who came with the governance skills from the Luba Lunda kingdom. That was how, how it was possible for the Lunda to rule the Ruyanas. So the lost royal family are Lundas. It's not only the lost royal family who are later comers. Also the Bemba royal family. The Bemba royal family came later than the people they are ruling. But Doc, you know, what, what, what we would like to find out is how does this whole dynamic, you know, the, the rich history that you're giving right now, how does it play out? What I'm trying to, to tell you is this. We are all one people. If you examine critically all the Zambian ethnicities, we are all basically Congolese, without exception. Even those who went down south like the Rwandas and coming back, the Angolis coming back here in 1835, we are all... Congolese. If we are all Congolese, then what is this issue of tribalism? We all have the same origin. We are all same people coming from Congo. What is this tribalism? We can only conclude that if you are a tribalist, it's either you are ignorant of your origins, you are ignorant of your history, or you are stupid, or both ignorant and stupid. Tribalism should have no place in our lives. Treat every human being on the basis of their own conduct, their own behavior, not their ethnicity. 